Imam Nadim and welcome to the first tutorial of making a math game. Um, today we are going to shuffle the the results array so we can display different three num uh, three results in each button and we will um, we will make uh, a method that will detect if we um, chose the right answer or the wrong answer. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is um, make an array of answers, not one answer. So change this to array and then create um, a result float. So float result. And then just replace this with answer over here. Okay, great. So now we need to fill the answers. I'm just Called answers. Just leave it there. So we'll do this. Um, if time less or equal zero, answers. The first value of answers equals result, and the second value of answers equals result plus random number so random dot range um, one to let's say six and we will do the same with the third value except that it's result minus random number dot range also one six. Okay, so just keep the number um, in a small amount, so so it will be harder to to choose the right answer. And now we need to shuffle the this array answers, so it, it won't be in the same order all the time. So I have um, Fisher Yates algorithm that will shuffle the list. You can just uh, check it out online and see how it works I have the code over here um, and I will just you can look at it and just reorganize this ok you can copy this pause the video and copy this and then just um, shuffle the shuffle this array answers ok great um so let's see how it goes now. Of course it's not ready, I'm just going to see how it works. Um something's wrong. Answers three. Three one minus six and then one six minus six and minus four and the correct result is minus four as you can see. So the the result is minus four and then we have minus four in the results and minus six and one. So as soon as it as the time reaches zero, it should um, reorder the, this array and a different um, answer. Okay, so. As you can see, the result is minus 5, and we have minus 5 in the middle, not in the third value. Okay, so as you can see, it works. Um, so now, we have to display display the buttons to make them display. So, buttons I, picture 0, answers I, dot to string. Okay, great. So let's see how it, how it works. Uh, this is the port fifty four, and then it shouldn't be like this. I I think we will have to wait until this reaches zero.
Okay, so 10 divided by 1 is 10 plus 3 is 13 minus 0. But it shouldn't be like so x minutes. So we have 18 and 13 and then 8. And it's it's displaying um, other answers, that's why. So we have something wrong. The correct answer is 13. Um, so let's display the correct answers. Okay, so what is let's say it, if this is was um, if this was zero, so the first button text equals the first answer text that the string and where we, where do I call it? I think if we call it in the update function all the time it will it will work better um I, I just have to see let's see how it goes okay so I think it's much better so 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 1 18 plus 1 19 minus 1 18 so this is the correct answer and if we just check here um, it says result is 18 so so it works now we have to create a method that will um, detect whether we chose the right answer or the wrong answer so it will go like this um, void button check and then we need to press an int is which is button number so called button num okay so we just have to make sure that this is organized and everything is good okay so first we will have to check if if buttons right buttons then the button number that uh, we have to get we have to get the text so we'll just copy this so dot component text that text if if this is true the text equals result dot to string so if the, um, if the text displayed on the button we we clicked on equals the result, then we will we will um, debug saying correct. So debug that log and then correct. And we might as well um, change. It color so buttons i dot image dot color equals color dot green else we will do the opposite so oh, it's not i it's button num number okay great so just copy those lines um, say uh, wrong and then red okay and we need to reset the colors of course so whenever the timer uh, time reach zero we reset the colors so for int i equals zero i less than buttons that length i plus plus Uh, I have got this wrong over here. Less 
Okay. Buttons. I. The image. The color. The color equals color dot white. Okay. So. I guess we will have to test this out um, right now. So let's first assign everything. The function we just created. So go to each button, select them all, and then unclick add add a method to call. And then the game object is um, manager and game manager is the code and then we will call the method oh of course it has to be public so we just add public over here so it can be accessed outside this script okay so it should it should be here now so if you go to game manager you will see um, public what is it where um, button check okay it's here so now we will just have to add the number of each one so first the first button is zero have is wait wait it has um zero and the second is one the third is two okay great so let's see how it goes Um, I'll fix this later, so let's just check what happens. Okay, so this is a correct answer over here. Um, just have to res make it a reset, of course. So whenever we press the button, it will give us a new, um, new numbers and no no results. So just set the time to 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. It doesn't matter, but not to zero so you can see um, the color red or green whether you chose the right or wrong answer so let's try to wrong you see it says wrong over here let's try on um, two again it says correct then one wrong uh, it didn't update okay we got wrong three times just Let's see how it goes now. Okay, so 60 wrong, 25 wrong. This collided, this keeps getting ahead, so wrong as you can see, and then correct, correct. Okay, great. So, I have this system working over here. Um, I'll just have to see why we got why we have this problem number three in the engine dot text so this is um, third text so number three dot unit engine dot ui dot text so let's see how why it shows us this um, we display the numbers over here so this is number text two dot the string Those numbers text ah oh, oh, it should not be numbers that text we are should be numbers two that text that the string okay so we you shouldn't get that problem now of course if after it it resets no matter what we press, it will never show us that again. Okay, great. Wrong, and then true, correct. You see, it works perfectly. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more. Um, see you later.